another problematic car. We rented out this car for two months, only two months. And when the guy returned it, it had a lot more problems. So basically, he got into small tendon stuff. He hit right here the door and he broke the mirror. But we put it back, still there are cracks right there. And the main problem that it has, it makes a lot of noise, a lot of sound, especially from the front suspension. And uh, we thought it is uh, strut and uh, spring assembly, but it is not. We actually ordered, we put the new one, but the sound was still there. And another big problem maybe, which is associated with this sound is right here with the steering. So it has clicking noise. When you go over rough surfaces, it makes a ton of noise. It feels like the front suspension will fall off. So we ordered a new steering column and we got also front control arm. We didn't put it yet, but I think uh, today we'll put it. But the main problem still was a steering column and we ordered it from Rock Auto. It is right here, a new one. And today we are planning to put it in there. So I watched the YouTube video. It, it looks like it is not the hard job, but we'll see. I believe we have all the tools and uh, we'll see how it goes. I think the problem with the steering wheel is because of uh, this side, especially right here. You see it is a hole and I think it was done a long time ago and that's why water got inside and it did what it did and that's why it makes a lot of noise. I hope you can hear. So we basically have to remove tie rod. We have to remove this wall joint right here. Then we'll have to remove that one mount. We have to remove the bolt from that mount. And from the other side, there's a few things, few difficult, one difficult thing actually to do is actually to remove the steering uh, connection right here. You have to remove the plastic and do that and do the same thing here. Remove the tie rod and the bow joint so that the control arm is free from this whole assembly. And uh, we will lower the frame. The whole frame will be lowered. So finally, I got the main frame out. And here, you guys can see it was torn. And that's why uh, water got inside. And uh, this is the sound that makes every time you hit the rough spot, it starts shaking. This is the sound. This is pretty bad. So basically we'll open this side, we'll put uh, uh, to the new one and this side too. So here it comes the interesting part. This is the tire rod and we didn't buy a new one. So we'll put this one. This is relatively easy job. So in the future, if uh, anything happens with this, we can uh, change it anytime. When we turn it, we have to count how many times it goes because when you we put the new rack here, we will count, let's say 20 times it was here. We'll put 20, 20 times so that our alignment is not absolutely off. We'll do alignment uh, of course, but in order to get to the alignment, we have to have kind of a normal driving experience. So that's why let's count. One, two, three, Seventeen, eighteen, eighteen times. You have to remember it. Eighteen times. Hi, a living, sir. Is this you? Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah, just gotta back out. Thanks. yeah, sure, sure. How you doing, bro? Doing all right. How about you? Auto mechanic group over there. Yeah, trying to trying to save some bucks, doing everything myself. Yeah, so we'll count this side too. One. Basically, 18 and a half. I hope you guys can hear it. It was absolutely done. Oh 
Oh my god. Oh my god, just look at this. Oh shit. This is toasted. This is absolutely done. It has dirt and everything in here. I think the main sound work was coming from this and we confirmed that this is this was the main sound. This was the main problem and thankfully uh, we are almost there to fix it. So basically I took out the control arm and it looks like the control arm is pretty good. So right here we don't see any wear and tear and when I try to work it in it has nothing and also if we just look at the bushing it's absolutely great so I think there is no need to change the control arm One eighteen. It was getting dark and also I was tired and also uh, the work was pretty difficult that's why i didn't have enough strength and time to record the video till the end so it took me basically around seven to eight hours to finish the job but the job was uh, completed successfully and the next day i went to do alignment because the the steering wheel was a little bit off when i was trying to drive over seven miles the anti-blocking system was kicking in and it was basically impossible to drive. So what I did was I turned off the anti-blocking system and uh, I was driving fine. And even I went to the highway, I was driving uh, 60, 70 miles per hour. It was absolutely fine. The steering, was, uh, the steering wheel was a little bit off, but other than that, it was uh, very good. So the alignment itself was not too bad. So I did a pretty good job to putting them back. And after that, I think the next day we rented out the car. Believe it or not, after three or four days, not even a week, we got a call that the car was in the accident. And here's the video of the accident. It basically shows that our driver was at fault. He didn't make sure that there's no car coming. So it is what it is. It looks pretty bad as our driver was at fault. Uh, we didn't want to go with, with the insurance with our insurance to repair the car because most likely it will be a total loss. First of all, we don't want the car to be a total loss. The second of all, the damage was not as severe. So uh, we thought we'll try to find someone who could do it. And also in order for the insurance to repair our car, we have to pay them $1,000 deductible because deductible is required and our deductible uh, was and is $1,000. And we went to one place, uh, they said that they, they'll have to uh, remove the whole quarter panel and to put the new one and it will take a long time and also parts and stuff. So his job, just his job would be at least $2,000 plus parts, it will be at least $2,500. This was not the best price that we could afford. So we started looking for more people and uh, on Telegram group from Russian speaking community, we found out uh, about the guy who has experience and also uh, is one of those guys who are a little bit weird. He lives in his van and uh, also he does this kind of jobs here and there. So he has a lot of experience from his words. And uh, when we sent him the picture and everything, he said it will cost him to do $1,000. Just his job will be $1,000. And he said that he will do it uh, in uh, 24 hours which was amazing because the first guy that we went to, he said it will take at least one week. But one day, even two days for us was a great time and also $1,000 was a great price. And also he sent us a location and the store to go and buy the paint. We went there, so they tried to mesh it and they mesh pretty good. So basically the stuff that we needed to buy, it, it cost us $150. And after that, we drove that night to that guy's location where he picked the location. It was like a big 
parking lot. We drove, we left the car there, and uh, the next day at night, basically it was like uh, 8, 9 p.m. probably, he called that the, the car is ready, you can come and pick it up. We came and we looked at the car, everything looked fine. I mean, it looked a lot better than the, it, it was before. So, yeah, so the look itself and also the car itself was basically ready to rent out. And the next day, actually, we polished it a little bit here and there to make it uh, look a little bit better. And we called the renter who got actually in the accident. So he came in, took his car out. And uh, overall, this car is not the luckiest cars out there. It only has 150,000 miles on it. So for the Prius, it's not a lot. Everything works fine beside that rear end that we got in the accident, but we tried to fix it. It doesn't look great, but it looks good. Good enough to, to be a rental car. If you guys like this kind of videos, you can leave the comments below and I would love to make more videos like this. Thank you.